What's your take on the recent controversy over the possible restrictions of 900 megahertz, 915 megahertz of Meshastic that I hear in the news? Um, so that is definitely uh, something that people are concerned about. Like, obviously, we have a really nice, cool system going, and those only work as long as somebody doesn't ruin it. So, like, all right, on this Meshastic, let me pull this back up again. On this Meshastic view, you can see that, like, potentially, um, I can communicate a, tr a vast distance over this area and I can use that for good. I can use that for bad. I can do it for all sorts of things, but this has a lot of potential and people are starting to take notice of this and also starting to find that these sorts of networks have the ability to potentially unwantedly totally junk up this particular frequency and make it so nobody else can use it because a lot of people are now using it and there might be a lot of stuff running on it. Um, the more people are using it, the harder it is to manage. And there is some conversation around either restricting it again, or changing the frequency, um, which obviously would make all these meshastic modules not very useful if they are locked to a particular frequency that is now illegal. Um, so I haven't seen how far along this is. I've seen a lot of people talking about it. And frankly, it's something I was planning on covering on the next news segment. So I haven't quite gotten around to reading it yet. So expect a further take on this later this week. But obviously, the impact of that would be all of the existing modules becoming not useful anymore without a swap to a different uh, different frequency. I'm not sure if there is a proposed swap or if it's more of just like, this isn't what we expected or wanted and like we're tired of this loophole and we want to shut it down. But admittedly, this does really feel like a loophole here. Like it hasn't really been possible to do other radio projects like this until someone uh, has decided to do it in an, in an unlicensed spectrum. So now that it's happening, like there really is the potential for this to be disrupted by changes to those uh, licensed spectrums or other sorts of regulatory actions. So I have my eye on it, and it's definitely something that I'm interested in maybe uh, exploring a little bit more of.